Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrea and I have been an Etsy seller for eight years and this is the space where I share everything I've learned in the past about Etsy and everything that I am currently learning about Etsy and it's all kinds of small business ownership, Etsy specific things. Today specifically we are going to be talking about the brand new app that Etsy just released, how to use it, my opinion of it, all the things, all the things on the brand new app. Okay, so rewinding a little bit, you might be thinking, watching this and thinking, I didn't even know they had a brand new app. So now you know, Etsy just launched a brand new app. It is for sellers specifically, and I think the plan is for it to replace the old seller app. So if you have been selling on Etsy for a while, you know that the current, or the, I guess, old now seller app is the one that's white with orange text on it, the little icon. This app is meant to replace that app, though right now you can have both, and I'll talk about that later. But this app is kind of meant to replace that one, and I think it's Etsy way of sort of updating their tech, making it more streamlined to run your business from your phone. So you can download the app in the um, app store. It is the Etsy seller app. Like if you just type in Etsy seller and then you can get it, it has the blue um, app cover with the E on it. So that is the app that we are talking about. It is for sellers specifically. And I am going to now share my screen on my phone screen with you guys and kind of walk you guys through each page of the Etsy, the new Etsy app, how to use it, useful things. And then we're going to dive into like my opinion of everything. So jumping right into my phone screen, this is the new Etsy app. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see whenever you log into the app is your home screen. The home screen, in my opinion, the first little bit is really similar to the last Etsy app, which just gives you an overview of your uh, stats, but it is displayed in a more streamlined way, so that's kind of cool. So the very first thing you're gonna see is the stats, and then if you scroll down a little further, you're gonna see the checkout explorer section. I believe this has been rolled out to everybody by now. So it was in beta. I think maybe it's been rolled out to everybody. You can check my message math on that, but that is where you do the Explore. And by the way, if you don't know what Explore is, I have a YouTube video explaining literally every part of Explore and I will link it in the cards. So that is where you can do the Explore feature. Scrolling down from that, you have the star seller section. That is where you can check your progress on if you have star seller or not. Again, if you don't know what this is, I think I have a Instagram video explaining everything from the very beginning, like that I recorded early on, and I will link it in the description. But uh, you can go ahead and click go to star seller dashboard there to see your progress and all that kind of stuff. So. That is what's in that section. Going back, you just have a little collection of new orders that you can scroll sideways on um, and just see the new orders that you have that came in. And then also new messages, same thing. You can scroll sideways on those. New reviews, a lot of side scrolling, which is awesome. And then this is a, considered the shop advisor. So that is like where you have kind of notifications popping up and stuff like that. So you can like exit out of those and it'll go away if you don't want those there anymore. And then you also have your shops checklist. So this is again, scrolling sideways, and it's kind of all those notifications that they give you to better your shop. So you can click on them and then if you exit out of them, it'll be gone and it'll say you're all caught up. So scrolling back up to the top, there are two more things I wanna point out on the homepage, which are these two icons up in the upper right hand of the screen. So that is the gear icon. That is where you can access your payment account. You can see what's gonna be deposited or you can change, I think you can change in the app, what's gonna be deposited, all those sorts of things. And then also settings and stuff like that. And then on the eye, if you click the eye, you can see what your shop looks like to a customer. So that's kind of a neat feature. I always feel like it's a little bit difficult to get to your actual shop uh, just because sometimes you need to do that just to look at listings. And so that is really handy to be able to see that. So on the home screen, there's a lot more than there used to be on the home screen on the sell on Etsy app, which is like this is considered Etsy seller. That was sell on Etsy. Basically the old Etsy app. There's a lot more on the home screen. I'm a huge fan, it looks really streamlined. So, moving on, the messages tab is the next one over. Messages can still be answered. This is very, very similar to the last one. Uh, the only difference that I'm noticing that I really don't like is that there's not a message search function, which I heard that they're working on adding, but that seems like a huge oversight in my opinion. Like, definitely need to be able to search messages. So I think that's getting added. Same, same features as the old one. You can mark messages on red all those sorts of things, 
very similar, the messages are very similar to the old seller app. The next tab over is the orders tab. Uh, very, very similar to the last app. Like, honestly, this whole app is really, really similar to the last app. It's just kind of packaged up in a prettier way, if that makes sense. There's a couple things I do wanna know about the order page that's different from the last app though. So the first thing is that you can now print shipping labels from the app. So if you click on the order, it'll bring you to it and then you can see at the on these three little circle buttons, there is now an option to hit create shipping label. That is a new feature. So that's super cool. And I believe if you have like a um, wireless printer, it'll connect to the wireless printer. So that's really cool. And then the other thing I wanted to know, and this is I'm actually not a huge fan of, is that they sort, the default sorting is by ship by date on this app, which we do not organize our shop that way. We organize our shop by newest to oldest. And so we always have to change it from newest to oldest. And so you can just do that really, you can do it easily. It's just kind of annoying. So that is how you manage orders in the new app. Moving over to the listings tab, to be honest with you, I feel like this is the exact same as the other app. So it is more streamlined. Like everything about this whole app is packaged up in a prettier way. It's more, it makes more sense graphic design wise for like 2022, but very, very, very similar as far as features are concerned to the older app. Um, I don't, we don't list anything from our phones really anyway. The, the most we'll do from our phone is duplicate a listing. So I won't notice a huge difference here, but very, very, very similar features to the previous seller app, which was just that you can list items from your phone. So not much changing there. The insight tab is literally just your stats tab. So you can go ahead and scroll through stats and just see all of that kind of stuff. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the manager marketing section and that is where you can set ads and sales and you can use the explore feature. So now that you have a good idea of what the app is and how to use it, what it looks like, all those sorts of things, I would like to dive into like my opinion of it and just my, like what, what I think of it as a whole. So to be honest with you, I think the biggest change, to me it literally seems like the exact same app. I'm not gonna lie. It's prettier, but it pretty much has the same functionality. I could see the create shipping label thing being really, really useful um, if you don't have a computer to run your Etsy business, but we do, so we never ever use our phones for printing shipping labels anyways. But um, definitely really, really similar to the older app, like not gonna lie. The biggest change that I am noticing with this app and just with marketing as a whole is the explore feature. So uh, like I said, I have a YouTube video that explains the explore feature in depth, but basically it's like at Etsy took a TikTok feed and put it on the Etsy app. It's short form video content for marketing your products, which we are seeing literally everywhere with like Instagram reels and YouTube shorts and TikTok and Etsy explore now like, there is a thousand places to post these short form videos and they are kind of what's like taking over the internet these days. And so you can have opinions on that all you want. That is not what we are talking about today, but I feel like that is the biggest change with this Etsy app. They're really trying to push people to use Explore. You can only post on Explore if you have this app specifically. The older app doesn't support Etsy Explore at all, but I also think that's just indicative of what we're seeing overall with the trends of short form video marketing and people trying to get you to hang out on their app. So Etsy is trying to bring that short form video marketing to their app. So it makes sense. Um, yeah, that is definitely the biggest change that I feel like I see. As far as the actual features, the only big feature I'm seeing that could be really useful for people is uh, creating a shipping label in the app rather than having to have a computer. As far as what I actually use daily and what the new app versus the old app looks like in the daily usage and running of our shop, I keep them both downloaded. There are very little nitpicky things that I like about both of them. So like Etsy, the new seller app, lets you know how much when it when you get an order alert from the new seller app on the on the notification you it'll tell you what they spent i think that's really really handy the old seller app doesn't do that for us so that's why i keep like i really like that feature of the etsy seller app the old seller app i really like that you can search messages out of habit i just use the old app i know it better it's more reliable for me if i'm being honest i feel like the newer app was like constantly down or not down or like like, cause I downloaded it pretty much as soon as it was available. So out of habit, I still use the older app, but I do keep both downloaded. Um, that's how it looks like, that's how the, what it looks like for me as far as like actually using the apps to run my business daily in my shop. 
As far as what you would need for your shop, I would say that you definitely would want to have at least one of them downloaded. Uh, probably I would opt for the new one. If you were gonna download only one right now, I would definitely opt for the new one because I don't know what Etsy's plans are for the old one, if they're gonna eventually phase it out and get rid of it. I imagine that would take a long time, but definitely like the, the market is heading towards the new one. Like Etsy is trying to get people to switch over to the new app. So I would definitely just get used to that one. Don't be like me where you're used to doing everything on the old app and then you're gonna have to switch over. Granted, like I'm not that bad with tech, so it won't be that hard, but still. So if I was you, I would definitely download one of them and I would probably download the newer app. Um, and I expect all those little glitchy things to get worked out just because they have dumped a lot of resources into making this. And so they're gonna want it to be good. I don't think that you would need both of them for right now, especially if you have a computer to run your business. I think you could easily get away with just having one of them. But yeah, that is my whole opinion on the new Etsy app, how to use it, what I think of it, what I think would be best for newer sellers and what I think would be best for you and what it looks like in my daily life. So I am overall, like, I think it's a good thing that they're making improvements. I still think it needs some work to do, but yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think of the new app. If you've downloaded it, if you've used it, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, all of those things, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I can't wait to hear from you guys. If you are someone who is wanting to grow your Etsy shop, that is exactly what we talk about two times a week, every week on this channel. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.